My goodness, guys, look at the size of that grayling. That's a good fish. Oh, this is, this is, might be my PB grayling. Bingo. Jeez, dude. That's a good fish. That's my PB. That is my PB. That thing's huge. Wow. Oh, that's a beautiful freaking grayling, man. I Dude, that's a big boy, that man. Is, that is my PB. It's basically that whole, whole edge of that. Dude, I slept like a baby. You look great, bud. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna start today out with a dry fly again. I've got just a little elk caddis on here. I've got that on a 4X tippet. So it is a pretty small size tippet, which works perfect for what we're doing right now. <laughs> on the dry, baby. Do you see that? <laughs> Decent little grayling on the first cast. See you later, buddy. There's one. That's a nice one too, man. Ooh, that's a nice grayling. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Woo. Look at that grayling in the sunlight, guys. Just absolutely beautiful fish. All the color on that sail. All right, we're gonna make a little switch real fast. It's super bright and sunny out here, so I'm gonna put on something nice and sparkly. This is that uh, copper 
headed bead head nymph that we were using last night. So I'm gonna switch that over and we'll put the dry away for right now. Probably pull the dry out again um, a little bit later. Oh, well, there goes that fly. Oh, come on, man. I just lost another fly. Damn it. There's one. Yeah. yeah, I think they want that bright color today, man. There's a whole bunch of them sitting in that hole. You wanna get up here? I'll move. Ooh, little chubby boy. Hold on. Alrighty guys, so there are still tons and tons of fish in this creek, but we're actually gonna move on. Um, we've caught plenty of big fish out of here. We're both like super satisfied with how this trip has been. Um, so rather than continue just catching these same fish over and over and putting stress on them, um, we're gonna move on and see if we can find some new spots that we've never fished before. So this um, particular section of river flows quite a ways down um, and there's several different access points to it that I know about. Um, so we might give this a try a little bit lower down, or we might just find like a completely new creek or river or something like that. So um, at this point, we're just going to get back to the car and do a little bit of exploring for the rest of today until we drive back home. So this should be pretty fun, guys. Let's see what we can find. Let's get this bread. Escape the LA Zoo. Oh. There's one. <laughs> little micro, dude. <laughs> Catching micros. There you go. It's a little bit better. Beautiful little fish, not nearly as big as the ones we were catching upstream, but it is, uh, it's awesome that we're just out here catching these. Here we go, got him on that little uh, Copper John. Send him back. See you later, buddy.
Got him. One's a little bit better. He's fat. Brother. Ugh. Onward to the next spot. Yeah, man. In July? Oh, dude, there's a bunch here. Yeah, look at these. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, there's blueberries all over, man. Oh, look at those big chunky right. boys. I'm gonna pop one in the mouth. Free tart. They're not bad, they're sweet. This is a decent one. Nice. There's one. This is a good one. Ooh, that's a good fish, man. Whoa. Look at that guy. That's a good grayling, dude. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's one right in front of you. There's one right in front of you. I just got hit. There's one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, buddy. I love everything about this. 